Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young, old, doesn't matter. They think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. Big defender of the 21st century here. So here's what you saw by the uh, thumbnail. We're doing London Grammar. I never even heard of this band until yesterday or this morning. I don't know. I was watching the video and this guy was counting down his top 10 albums and he had an album by London Grammar. And then I looked on Spotify and their most popular song has 193 million plays. You know, I must have heard of them. I did see that they did a version of Wicked Game and I may, I may have heard that because I've heard a cover of Wicked Game game the chris isaac song i've heard that so maybe you know so we'll do this uh video of uh strong here i hope it doesn't get blocked i think they've been picked up by sony records but let's go ahead and give it a shot uh if you like what i'm doing hit that like or subscribe button i do have a patreon page which that'd be cool if you got on my patreon uh for free or for pay it doesn't matter just check it out below and let's go ahead and hit it up i have not done a deep dive into the lyrics i'm hoping i'll understand them that I got it on a playlist uh, another video come up well I get mixed opinions about this song so right away her voice that's the standout and uh, like it's just so it's it's just got its own unique little uh, timber tone whatever you want to call it like her voice a lot and then it was produced right up front I like that. Uh, the song was pretty reverb heavy, which is okay, but maybe a little too much reverb. Uh, the lyrics, I'd like to check those out because I missed uh, a few of them, but it sounded like a... Yeah, well, I think I'm going to pause the video and bring up the lyrics. We can we can look at them together and, and we'll see, but... Uh, yeah, the instrumentation, which was really good. Also, you know, I kind of heard it. It's Again, it's one of those songs like, I never heard it before, but I heard it before. Uh, so I didn't, in terms of the, the way it was in the earphones and the instrumentation, I thought, yeah, it was good, but it didn't, it didn't knock my socks off. But yeah, I think her vocal is the center point. Uh, let me go ahead and pause this video and I'll pull up the lyrics. I, I, I didn't have them up, but let's go through them real quick together. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So here we go. Excuse me for a while while I'm wide-eyed and I'm so damn caught in the middle. Okay, I couldn't catch that word damn. I excused you for a while while I'm wide-eyed and I'm so damn caught in the middle. I can relate to that. 
<laughs> who hasn't been caught in the middle? And a lion, a lion roars. I did not pick up that line. And a lion, a lion roars. Would you not listen? If a child, a child cries, would you not forgive them? Yeah, I might seem so strong, yet I might speak so long. I've never been so wrong. Yeah, I might seem so strong. Yeah, I might speak so long. I've never been so wrong. Excuse me. F okay, they repeat that. Repeat that. Repeat that. Repeat that. Repeat that. Yeah. You know, some someone it reminds me of because another artist that has a unique voice from the 90s and the 00s. And also has kind of skeletal lyrics like this is uh dido is that how you say her name not dido right dido so i i've always liked dido quite a bit and of course she was sampled by um by eminem uh on the song stan yeah i always loved uh dido's voice uh but her lyrics were always just kind of like this, kind of skeletal and impressionistic. Um, what am I going to rate this? Um, yeah, the drums seem kind of normal. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about this song. I really, I really liked it, and at the same time, it seems a little uh, by the numbers, just a little bit. But really clear in the headphones. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a B plus, which means I like it a lot, right? So if you got a B plus on the paper, you'd be like, oh, just, just missed an A. Um, yeah, I like it. Yeah, but I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a B plus because I'm thinking, how often will I play this? How you know? How often will I replay it? Man, I've got a little cat down here, and he's just he's just causing all sorts of trouble. <laughs> They're young. They're kittens. So, yeah, thanks for joining me on the channel. I'm glad I checked these lyrics. And uh, what I will say about the lyrics real quick, though, is sometimes when lyrics are skeletal and seem kind of simple like this, at least you can put, you know, everybody can put their own spin and their own interpretation on it. Uh, so sometimes I think lyrics are better, uh, better than, uh, lyrics that are more prescribed or, yeah, I, I've always liked lyrics where you can bring your own, uh, your own experience into the song and find your own personal meaning. So I'll give them kudos for that. But her voice, her voice is really cool. I liked it. I don't know her name. Anyway, thank you for joining me on the channel, and as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.